Hey everybody, it's Ben here with this month's electric bill. This is for February. I've been sharing my electric bills because a while back I installed solar panels and I just want to share with you what the real world results of this can actually be. Um, I literally don't know what this is going to be. I haven't opened it yet. I can tell you that last month's electric bill was kind of high. It was about $40 for last month. Uh, now another thing to keep in mind too is that my family has two plug-in cars. So although we save a lot of money on gasoline, we're still going to pay a little bit more for electricity. I think we've also done a better job this month than last month on uh, just kind of uh, conserving energy in general. So let's open this up and I'll just tell you the bottom line number here. So this month, amount due $9.20. I got a $9 electric bill this month. Okay, one thing we got going on here is our electrical usage was down from last year, which is nice. I think last year it was pretty cold, so our, our furnace blower was probably running quite a lot. Now, if you look at our monthly use compared to other months, we got a nice little jump down here. And probably the main reason for that is it's, it's been sunny out lately. We've just been making more solar power. Okay, let's take a look here. We start with a zero balance, have to pay $11 for the meter fee. Here's a great one, minus $33. Uh, we overproduced 166 kilowatt hours of electricity during on-peak times. Got a nice credit for that. Now, we used 586 kilowatt hours during off-peak, uh, but that only cost us just a little bit more than what we overproduced. So we used quite a bit of electricity, uh, but because of when we were using it, uh, it kind of came out as a wash. Uh, there's a power cost adjustment that just depends on the cost of fuel that month. Uh, renewable energy charge, that's $3. That's a voluntary, I'm on a program, so that we're getting our energy renewably sourced even when the sun's not shining. A uh, little tiny fee for commitment to community, and in total, it's $9.20. Another thing that I was curious about is the fact that I'm using solar and time of use together uh, means that I, I'm doing pretty good on my electric bill, but I was wondering what if I was only doing solar or time of use. So what I did is I made a spreadsheet. Uh, basically, I just punched in all the numbers that are right on my electric bill, uh, put in the information for my bill just as written. You know, I've got a couple of uh, flat fees here that I have to deal with. Those are going to be the same no matter what. But then in these other columns, I said, well, hey, what if um, I had the solar, but I was not on time of use? Or what if I was on time of use, but I hadn't installed solar? And what if I didn't have either? What if I was just a regular guy paying the electric bill, as most people regularly do? Um, had to manually do a little bit of this, including just uh figuring out how much solar power i produced in this period and how much of that w was off peak versus on peak uh but once i figured out those numbers i could do this all so in future months i should be able to just uh change a couple things have everything else pop in together and what's interesting is that uh if i didn't have any solar if i wasn't on time of use I would have paid over a hundred dollars on my electric bill, but instead I only paid nine. And this is crazy because I literally saved over a hundred dollars. I had a 92% uh, reduction in my electric bill. And the other thing that's interesting is at uh, $9 and 20 cents, uh, that is less than the total flat fees that I have on here. So I actually was credited for the solar, but it wasn't enough to cover my flat fees. But if I was on time of use only, didn't spend any money for solar, uh, I still would have had a pretty good reduction. Basically, I would have only paid about two-thirds as much as what I otherwise would have. Uh, but with solar, uh, close to half off my electric bill. But really, the magic of uh, combining the two, boy, that's what saves me a lot of money right here. So feeling pretty good about that $9 electric bill in February. Uh, February. Uh, and I can't wait until March and the summer when it should uh, basically be through the roof.
So that's it for this month, but please comment, like, share, and subscribe to these videos so you always get the next ones as they come out for all of my renewable energy and electric vehicle projects. And until next time, stay charged up.